Hi. Today's video is a little bit shocking for somebody who knows me and knows how much I hate Python. This video would be a little bit shocking, but we don't hate anything. Any programming language has its own usages. Sometimes we already did something with Python, for example, and want to call that feature, method, something inside or .NET projects. Even before introducing this new tool, which calls CSNake, this type of things could be possible. Now it's much easier. What should we do? In this video, I am going to create a .NET, or I can say C Sharp console application, and then try to call a very simple method in Python from my C Sharp project. And then I will go for something a little bit more complicated. What is CSNake? It seems this is the logo of CSNake. Let's jump to their website and see what they have prepared for us. This is their official website. Uh, I'm going to be blind. Let me find something to make it. Ah, okay. Much better now. Uh, this new tool would let you embed Python code into your .NET projects. How? They have a simple instruction. For the first sample, uh, I have followed them, but for the next one, which is a little bit more complicated, I have done something for myself. So, first of all, we need a console application, for example. I have already prepared one. Let's have a look. A very simple console application. What should I install at first? From NuGet, I need to install something. What? Let's see. You should install this guy, csnake.runtime. So I have already done this here, as you can see, csnake runtime. That's all. So now I want to have a demo.py. A very simple, very, very simple method which gets a string and returns a string return hello the input name there is something in between right click on your py file or py files if there are, there are more and i should show you something The build action should be C sharp analyzer additional file and copy to output directory should be on copy always. These two are necessary. So don't forget it. Then this is my Python file. Let's go to program. CS. Till here, very easy. Just take, uh, I have taken this part from their official website and just paste it here. It me it uh, creates a service and all the necessary things 
to prepare the environment to fire the Python code. And then I have defined a module env.demo, the file name. And then I could easily call the method inside my Python file, like this. See, hello world. Here also is hello world. That's all. Finish. So what is going to happen if I run? Let's see. This is very simple. Yeah. That's all. So. Should I be satisfied and say, okay, the video is done. Finish. Yeah. But, uh, hello world type of things don't have any value. I need to show you something a little bit more interesting. So, bye bye demo.py. Let's jump to my PowerPoint uh, presentation again. First of all, Reminder again, do not forget these two. Do not forget these two after adding your py files. Otherwise, you would be confused. And then, one day when I was uh, surfing the internet, I have seen this. Somebody could say, by using this Python library, you can simply remove the background of a picture. Yeah, very easy. So, can I have something the same inside a project? Yes. First of all, I have done this purely with Python. Let's see. In here, I have defined a method remove bg. It gets to input parameter, input file, output file. Removes the pictures background and then saves into the output file. Okay. Inside this pass, I have an eagle.jpg, this guy, okay, let's run the python code, wait a little bit, yeah, done. Background totally removed. Okay, very nice. Can I have the same in my .NET project? I think so. How? The part that I called the method is meaningless for me. I need this, a simple method to have two input parameter and remove the background and save it to the output pass. So, what do I have here? Like this. Inside the previous method, inside VS Code, uh, it was an object here, I forced it to be a string because it would be easy when you are dealing with C sharp, which is a little bit tough. It is a strongly typed. Uh, that's all, that's all. If you have seen something here, this is just for making sure that everything is installed properly because 
when we install Python, it looks for its exec pass and such things. So I manually forced it to find and install all the packages. So again, again, this file also need this two small attention. This two. Additional file and copy always. After that, inside my program.cs, I do not need this three line. I come here. So now, if I uncomment this part, okay. Input file, output file, calling the remove bg method, which is this guy, and done. Finish. Nothing is here. Let's call and see. I am going to hit a five. Okay, expecting a message to say that, yeah, background removed. Done. Really, really, really removed. Even if I copy this, let's see. Yeah, background properly removed. So from now on, you are able to call things from Python in the C sharp much easier than before. I know there was some libraries or ways to do the same things before, but it seems now things are much easier and faster. So enjoy using Python inside .NET. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.